Hello, hello, this is Kevin Resilient Emmy doing some gaming commentary here. Purpose of my channel is to show that people who uh, are suffering from severe Emmy, which is myostalgic encephalitis, are, can still be able to play games, especially more uh, cognitively difficult strategy games from time to time. And that is what I'll be doing here today with Age of Wonders 4. I've done some previous let's plays haven't had commentary for those so following along with uh, my thought process and how I'm playing has obviously been impossible and uh, well today you're gonna get to see what goes on in my mind and realize uh, most of what I'm doing is pretty impulsive jumping on opportunities as they show up part of my um, diagnosis is difficulties with um, cognitive activity and planning ahead so let's see how well I can compensate just by doing things moment to moment and go from there we're gonna start a new game I'm gonna start with this the dark lands here i haven't played with the umbral abyss or any of the new mechanics for this dlc yet uh, we want to edit this maybe i think we're gonna change this let's do a single land mass test out this void Leave that default. Leave that. Now where do we want to... I think we're going to leave that default. Leave that off. Maybe add in one unknown trait. Add a little bit of mystery. I prefer medium map size. Gonna stick with a standard sized game. Turn up the difficulty. We're gonna leave that normal. Hey, excuse me, I have to open my virtual keyboard. Rename this. Well, that's a good name for this. How about... I'm not feeling all that creative today. Void Isle. Good enough. Tempted to make this a faster game. I wasn't able to finish my uh, Last Age of Wonders game due to the irregularity of my ability to play games like this. Wondering if we might want to expedite. Expedite. Yeah, I'm gonna put on a turn limit. 25% faster sounds fine. At 25. Normal world threat. I haven't played in a while. We need to change any of that. Don't think we want to do a handicap necessarily. It's tempting to give one of the AIs an advantage.
just to make the uh, game a little asymmetric. Yeah, I said it. We're do it. And we're gonna leave them random, allow custom rulers. Five players is four AI. I think that'll be fine. Your journey starts here. We're gonna create a new faction. What is your people's form? Uh, is where we gotta decide what we actually wanna play. I wanna test out the new insect form. Something order. I want to maybe focus around the condemned debuff. As far as how I play this game, I'd say I try to keep most of my decisions strategic, but I try to keep a, a role play in mind for the faction to kind of a little bit of a handicap maybe to just not do things that would be polar opposite to the the theme I'm playing for but I don't fully go into the role today I don't think we want to mount trait I don't think I want a terrain trait Potentially just the standard additional mounts. I don't want to play defensive. I want to be like an aggressive order. Kind of. If I'm playing aggressive. Some ability to recoup health. I think maybe we're we're undecided on how we're gonna focus our aggression. So I don't want to specifically pump up physical or magic or ranged or melee or anything quite yet. Maybe we can always bounce back to this menu. Stenched so we can get the condemned off better. Yeah. That's a good starting point. What is their origin culture? We've already done a high in barbarian on this channel. So I'll probably skip over those. Even though they're they both thematically kind of fit into like an aggressive order. Uh, this just for the aggression. Not, I don't think primal's the theme I'm going for. Reaver is a possibility. I suppose the, the question is how much are we going to be using our racial units versus summons if we did this captured units we could focus in on trying to capture as many units as possible i don't know that we'd be gaining much war spoils on a low population map that's a bit iffy
No, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go for this. We're, we're gonna go for um, like a press ganging theme, capturing, forcing other units to fight for us. What defines I like their that. society? Obviously, not good order. Not gonna be allying with free cities. Start with some glue stuff. Not sure that's thematically what we're doing. It's only the racial units all have this glue and stuff and be shooting ourselves in the foot doing that. Enchantment would apply to everything, so that would be valuable. We, we want something that pumps up these skirmishers, perhaps. Grab a nature point for that. Focused on clearing things. Not sure how we want to play this. Something. Could go into Chosen Destroyers. Do I, do I want to lean that heavy into the aggression? We're going to try that. Can't select any of those. That's okay. Support units. Right, I forgot it's a, it's a combo. You have to incapacitate and then capture. So if we know we're always going to have a support unit. Feel like we're going to be grabbing anything else, Shadow. Yeah, it's, it's hard to justify thematically.
I think the hunters works adequately. Unless we just... Well, maybe we do want to just sink right into the chaos. Because I know that'll have... Unlocks for getting units out of the infestations and such. theme I'm going for. Maybe we're, we're combined Hermit Kingdom and Chosen Destroyers. That kind of has kind of that same vibe to it. Choose your first tome of magic. There's definitely an argument to be made for restraining people with the tentacle tone to capture them. I don't think that fits what we're trying to do. The difficulty we're going to have is that condemning doesn't doesn't incapacitate to allow us to capture. We're going to go to Zeal. What is your ruler's origin? We're, we're more experimenting with the theme and seeing if we can make some work out of it than we are min-maxing. be complementary or contradictory. Yeah, I feel like we should play with the new the new stuff. Anything particularly useful with these other ones? Yeah. Reveal yourself. Okay, that's definitely not the color scheme we want. For now, we're start with like blue and black. We're, we're fine tuning it as we figure out what we're doing here. Probably want to go for Havoc. Just the random status effects could incapacitate. Uh, 
we're going to start the design with the race. There'd be choices for the head shape, but I guess it doesn't matter when everyone's helmets. He's gonna stick with the beetle. Let's just stick with the beetle. Or the crocodile. Let's do the crocodile. Zoom in a lot. I feel like this original one is the best match. It's got a good look to it. It's kind of like a mandatory like conscription army here. So what what matches that kind of theme? Just like the military camp, kind of. Or this could be like a collar. Or shoe. Go for this. We're going to take the Raptor. Good color match. Ruler. Going to be red and blue, probably. What kind of themes do we have available? Well, 
boss wizard is pretty much uh, a wizard who's gone mad. So he's gone mad with like order. It's kind of a theme going for. Definitely an argument for like the eye. Let's start with the eye. Most of this doesn't really match. The insect one would match. Might be overplaying that hand. This kind of has the insect. plays into like a skeletal theme. I think this matches the colors best. If I see what we can do with this. It's not overplaying the eyes. Get away with that.
keep that minimal. of a big head. Yeah, I think we have our ruler. Uh, I can adjust that later if I care to. It doesn't matter for what we're, what we're playing. Your journey begins. I'm moving the keyboard around, the sound will cut in and out. Big. Overseer. Is that a full title or is that part of the title? Just bone arrow. Let's randomize these other ones a bit. of like press gang and conscript. Here we engineering. We want to be engineering. that a bit more. Good to me. Taking long enough on this. We'll go let the other rulers be fully random, and off we go. And hopefully I'll be able to play this soft enough to get it finished before next out of house dealing with medical stuff. That's the plan. If I don't finish it in the near future, maybe I should just leave the save on the computer, finish it later.
You can leave feedback in the comments if you come back to a series like this after a multi-month break. That'd be good data for me. Okay. So we're toward the center of the map. It's usually not considered ideal. I don't really have an argument as for why it would be. Quick exploring maybe, but people are going to be pretty hostile toward us. I think that's going to be a given. It started out with extra Imperium from is it one of these things. Yes, the Hermit Kingdom. We're going to use that to give ourselves a big population boost. We're going to be summoning Zealots. Probably want the Mana Forge. We're only ever going to have the one city. Vaguely limits how much gold and production we need, or it lowers the priority. I'd say it ups the priority of food. But there's only one opportunity for a forester. We're gonna grab that. No, we need that. No. I suppose could go farm forester. But logic's good enough. That's production. That's gold here. That's food. Double up on the food. Go hard into food. Let's see what's in our starting army. One of each. And sure. Right, he can deal dice into adjacent units. This guy can do some tanking. It's not ideal. No. Let's grab a mercenary. Probably gonna want an observer. Mercenaries take extra gold. I'm gonna get a library though to make sure that doesn't get forgotten. This guy is gonna go grab the map. That's valuable information. There's not too many city-states on the map, and that'd be a good target next week. I'm gonna start heading up toward the food cart. Probably with the main army. No, this guy's gonna go up there. So there's more likely to be enemies, things to attack on these nodes. Let's research. We will have you go grab that quick. And then our units will meet up down there. Okay. Don't need to rush production. I think we're going to be spending mana on the summon, so we're going to grab the unit enchantment, which 
Actually, we, we don't need the mercenary because we got the sell it. So what we're going to do is grab another scout first thing. Okay. That cost more than I thought it did. Don't think we need to do that. Did we make a mistake canceling that mercenary? I think we're okay. Yeah. Thralls are a resource gained passively through victory in battle, which can then be used to cast ritual spells. As I just noticed, we don't have the UI from the latest uh, update. Yeah. Which one's more fitting for what the theme is? Eldritch. Color scheme matches. We're stick with that. Miscalculated. No. It's okay. We could get a mana node, then we'd be able to get those summons off the ground a bit quicker. That's also going to be pretty easy to kill this. We're probably just going to hit that for experience. Someone off to the left, I just heard. Not that that's news. There's definitely people off to the left. One point away from a summon. Should be done same turn. That's kind of annoying. You can dip in here and see what's up. Watchtower is more important than gold. Alright, what's this? I have not played this before, so. This is completely new. Umbral Dwelling. I did brought back dwellings from previous games. Inclined to have good relations to them. Because we're definitely going to be evil with the way we built our faction. Do we get anything for this? Not immediately. I have no idea how valuable thralls are. We're fine on gold. We're about to get some attack in that node. You have met an umbral dwelling. These dwellings are teeming with umbral demons and spread gloom as they expand throughout the umbral abyss and into the other world map players. Yeah. You can also choose to befriend the umbral dwelling in order to gain unique bonuses. To access these, you must reach an Eldritch Pact. This can be done by increasing allegiance with the Umbral Dwelling. Mm. 
Yeah. Allegiance just passively increases just to be evil. Eh. Okay. You have to commit a little more than just existing with a trait. <laughs> this feels like something to work on here. Getting along with the demons, yeah. I'm good with that tactic. Also allow us to just go through here casually and grab everything. First combat. Always gotta play the first one. So there's no guarantee this one would have gone my way. He has ranged. I don't know why he didn't summon. He really wanted that defense. Interesting. There's no reason to run all the way up. I kind of want to lure them to split up. Get some flanks going on. Put you over there. I think we're going to completely split up, is what we're going to do. Well, yeah. Be unpredictable. Split up here. Oh, we could just bind control. Out of range, okay. That only hits. So why does that only hit once? Gotcha, it's not repeating. It's so this is actually better, slightly better in raw damage. That's probably not significant. All right, if we're trying to lure him into the bushes, someone over here. stand here. Okay, you can only do that if we don't move. That's unfortunate. Nah, I want to get this net off. No immobilize. Less clever. I think we're 
gonna keep that. This guy could just run. Yeah, why not? Let's regroup. Now we can get a kill. Let's try not to spend mana. I think we're gonna take that hit to get this guy. Yeah. We're not playing this perfectly, that's for sure. Right, you can mind control. We grab the summon. Yeah, we're gonna take the risk. Run him all the way over there. Bear is obviously not actually alone. Uh, yeah. I'd be more accepting of using mana in this one. Can we mind control? Not yet. Oh, we can do massive damage to these guys, though. Yes. Stun. Perfect. Run him down there. Need that. Got fortune out of that. Nice. Find you in the trees. Hide you in the bush. If we can get a mind control off on that bear, I'll be happy. sure it's the best move. Oh, 100%. It's 100%. This is just too perfect. Go ahead and eat that.
that's going to wear off. It's either. Well, we're going to learn if it wears off during their turn or if we, we get a free turn. Yeah, we got a free turn. That's not a kill, unfortunately. And we're not flanking them. He's flanking. We're going to hit there. Hope for something that drops the defense. There we go. One of these guys been poisonous. Ah, it's done the retaliation. Okay. Didn't lose any units. Got our mana. Alright, it's not same turn. Almost. Good to know. I think we want an outpost here. just the skills from the other weapons. Old spell to gain knowledge. Or draft. Draft could be good. Being able to stun is useful. Also, just focus in on our damage or the condemn. Which condemn makes it easier to capture, right? But we're not going to have the capturing ability until the city grows. That's not even useful until we got the level 2 units. Basic channeling power. That's where we're gonna start. Buggy zealot guy. 
It's a look. Stinky zealot. Good, I want another one of those. That'll be done next turn, so I don't need to run back to heal. We need to scout this city out. A lot of things need to be scouted out. That looks like that might just be undefended. Let's go for the sure. Sure thing. I drop. Get another Harrier in. If there's anything particular we want to grow toward, maybe that. So that production probably makes the most sense. Farm. I'm gonna to want to cast that one capable. Distracted is very good. This guy's basically just on pickup duty right now. Need to regain some health, so I think we're just going to do a little wander in this area right now. The only we probably would have stayed in that range. We did. Yeah, I don't know if we would have gotten that extra health. I'm sure the order things are processed in. We're gonna work camp so we can get that mana. It's gonna sit. We're gonna summon him. Our next hero is not coming online for a bit still. This is where we grab the forge. Probably should have grabbed the quarry, but three turns is whatever. We can still very much afford to do this. Now we can grab our quarry now. Excellent. Then we'll probably go right into that. Go boost population some more. Know if there's a value in grabbing that turn. So you can't grab anything in here, I don't believe. That's just gloom terrain. Probably lowers happiness. Yeah, it does. Grab the gold at this point. Yeah. Full commit gold. It does have defense. I scout around this mountain range. Open someone in the comments to let me know how I'm doing in the game so far. I think I got about 200 hours total prior to this latest update in DLC. Keep premium it. We're gonna 
have men online. That's fine. Yeah, I have two things of mana coming online in a couple turns. Good for me. <laughs> no, we're not trying to be diplomatic here. So the only thing we can do to their city is raise it, I believe. But there's permanent boons for doing that. As nice as it would be to have a high culture, the ability to create their units. That's what we're immediately doing, is building up for war here. Unless this no, deep sleep that that can be ignored for a while. Not worried about meeting other AIs. Just be people to be will be tempted to attack us as soon as possible. To grab this and get out before this guy dies. We can do that fight and then retreat back over here. So that's what we're gonna do. They are within range, which is interesting. These are not the ones that can jump, fortunately. I don't see any particular reason to care when we engage them on the field. Pretty much everything but this guy's melee. Hit you in the back. Well, I guess the field is good for getting flanks. That's what we should be prioritizing. Salads are kind of weak. You here. These guys will have their ability to shove. See if maybe we can shove something toward the zealots. Get a flank. You guys kind of primed for that tactic. Unless there's a plant they can eat. Can I eat the crops? Oh. Uh, I was joking about that. Okay, you can only use once per battle. That's why that's not overpowered. This guy would just be... Just a basic front line. approach slowly I'll just keep bombarding or get off of mind control yeah get off of mind control because then he 
turns around to attack his friend here. And oh look, you've turned around. We're not the nice guys here, you know? Don't mind being completely cut through. These guys can't get in without losing their AP. I don't see any reason to move forward. Let's see, do they lose? Yeah, if I move that guy up, they're gonna get two hits. But also, if they feel the need to come in, we get a flank. Maybe if we're here, we can immobilize him. Yes. So then he would have to walk around and only gets one hit on anybody. Yeah. Stay put, he can stay put. They're thin in their own ranks. I like to see it. Really focusing on their own guy. Love that. They've eviscerated themselves. to a little on over get that stench down fair bit of damage there you're gonna come in here and become vulnerable Which, that would be a flank right We're just gonna pin him down. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We can tank it. Critical hit on the wheat. Congratulations. So this is the point we grab our condemn. We're slacking on the the Eldritch specific upgrades. Gonna 
get our last unit in this army. We are most certainly boosting it. That's valuable. Okay. Do we start on a second army? Or do we want a third scout? I think what I said before about not necessarily wanting to meet the AI still holds. Grab a Harrier because we can summon Zealots. Fine by me. Start heading in their direction right now. Why not? Yeah, as long as they only got one army, I think we're fine. Save like my quick saves. Maybe grab a province so we can heal. And then start nabbing their stuff once they're burnt. I like it. Grab a forester. Get that uh Synchronicity going. Lucky ring. Start heading for the exit. He can wear the ring. Can't change weapons, wouldn't want to. Okay. This guy. Got a little humble great gate in there. Interesting. This guy could gather information, be a distraction, or just not to get involved. These guys are completely irrelevant, they're just guarding things. See if we can pull an army down. Okay, they got super growth. That's worth knowing. They also have some astral type units. Yep. Doesn't explain the super growth. actually see that on their traits. Why, why does that guy have super growth? Where is that coming from? Don't know. Did that guy just spawn? Ask a question, get an answer. Finish that for 12. And then we can start in on our overseers. We still want the Harrier. <sighs> I 
It's a hard dance move. Against options next turn. None of that's particularly useful. But this will get worse. If I grab a population growth. I, I feel like we're, we want our money back for this Harrier. Uh, I, I can't throw that away. It's probably sunk cost fallacy. It's fine. I don't remember this menu for some reason. Maybe it was extended before, I don't know. Can I sell the item? Can do this. It's not helpful at the moment. Looking for money pickups. I can get construction in the city ongoing. But I don't see anything. Watchtower over there. Yeah, boy. If he's not uh, at war with us within a couple of turns, it's because he's occupied with someone else. direction. Ah. Outpost. Let's hope he's occupied. I feel like attacking these armies might be a good move. Brigand camp. Do we get more spoils for just attacking armies? Battle with empires and free cities. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's something to be said about doing a little grinding before hitting the city. Not able to get money out of nowhere. You can now create a bounty to request aid in your war. Bounties are quests created by rulers and offered to other rulers in exchange for a reward. Right. Well, we're not really uh, being diplomatic and doing those kind of things. Grab that before we could forget about it. There's no chance that the dwelling is considered under that. We're gonna buy time while our overseers get down here. We're hoping to capture some of these units when we 
before we take down the city. I'll accept that. We got a throw out of it. Got a good item out of it. Got more spoils. him yet so we can figure out how far away he actually is. I think I want to know if there's anyone between me and that city. It's unlikely. The watchtower over there. We'll go around the mountain, look for pickups. Ah, right. Boyd. Is no route to the mountain. Dealing with this, or it could get to hand. I'm not sure you're losing four gold. Maybe that. Seven research is a bit harsh. I feel like we could put it off. stability and unit deployment okay and draft we're gonna put it off for that and then I think we're gonna be forced to get that tavern that yeah, we're gonna want to cast immediately This will help us capture units. We've definitely been slacking on our summons, which I don't think is a problem. Something to keep in mind, not forget we can do that. We can get a unit out of this infestation. Get him within useful range. We will try. Where's Nick? The outpost is there. There's a road going that way. I would hazard a guess. Here. Kind of see some construction thing in the fog. So we completely failed to go around this mountain. I don't think it can go around there. I'm just going to cut across this narrow a spot as possible. Check my recording time real quick. An hour and a half. Keep playing. I generally try to get 15 turns off in the first episodes.
idiot mage lock. Well, there's nothing else going on construction wise. Or getting the overseer. Yeah, I want to do this. I don't care about growth. We've been just boosting like crazy with the Imperium. Not a problem. Is there anybody here we might want to steal? He's stealing super growths too. So they're chosen destroyers. It's interesting. You might be playing my theme better than I am. Realistically, most of the high units don't really work outside of their awakened stuff. I don't really care about capture. You make sure we don't have any stupid losses here. Probably just use this bombard to lure them out of their fortress. They're willing to come out. I'm willing to hide in the trees. healing ability. Oh no, they do. It does kind of... Oops. Did not mean to click on that, but now we're pretty much committed to doing this. Yeah, that's not helpful. There's too much where our guys are at this point. This guy's gonna come in a shrub. Very useful, we don't have any feeling. You're completely alone, which makes you a good lure, honestly. Go ahead and eat a shrub. Bit pretty much sure, but it's fine. No reason to stand together. That healer, they're probably not gonna come march it out at us. Maybe they will. Attacking, getting flanked. 
Don't do that. Probably just come down straight and attack. I could lure them to split up. Continue dropping the damage where we already put it. Or we try to disable the healer. Let's try that. Yeah. Resisted it. Don't think we want to do this while they're defending. damage because I'm a big guy. We do have to be careful here about losing part of ruler. They've helpfully just lined themselves right up for this. Probably should have done a condemn first. If I do that, sneaky. They're making good advantage of their super growth. I have no idea what this displace would do. That guy looks like he'd be pretty easy to take down. He, uh, made their healer quite vulnerable. Pretty well locked down, you can't move or do anything. Don't think the immobilized stops attacks. <clears throat> Let's see what this displace does. Okay, good. That's what we needed. Now we can go ahead and condemn without getting hit. Try to get. Why is there no immobilizer? Uh -huh. He's already immobilized. He can attack just fine. Okay.
teleport. Why aren't we using this? Stab on the temporary friendly unit. Unavoidable. Do not appreciate that defense. Got the nice unit anyway. Nice. I would prefer to have that going against an astral. Uh -huh. Which I can't get back into friendly terrain. That's fine. Delaying the tavern. Definitely. Yeah. It's a nice little army. Having serious money problems now, but we'll deal with it. Definitely time to split the armies up a little bit. Bureau is already online. Can't afford it. Fortunate. I'd actually want to consider uh -huh. disbanding. Is that it? That feels reasonable. It's good that we were just consistently something like that. As far as the army composition, I'd say that guy's gonna go there, you're gonna go there. These guys can go there and we'll figure it out from that point. Get heroes from the dwelling. Okay. Now that is news to me. Or if they're always dark culture. 
place bugs. We'll decide on that later. Better to just dip into here. Find other players in there. I want to know where Necron is, or do we want to know who his neighbors are? What's the more important information? We already have an educated guess that he's in. I think we're just gonna expand the map a little more. Ah. Okay, that's good information. He will not be moving west. Only way he can go is through me. Yeah, that's not too surprising, is it? Makes things more immediate. Is this a new one? Yes, it is. What a shame, we're gonna gain some stability. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Double or nothing, I guess. I feel like our population is going to be um, new, right? We did that thing that put off population. Hmm. Does it actually matter? I'm not sure it does. Very much having gold problems. Nothing like a costly war to uh, reduce costs. Makes sense if you don't think about it too much. Not gonna waste that. New tome already. Right, we expedited the game speed. What is in our interests? The situation hasn't really changed since the start of the game as far as the build, the direction of targeting. Don't need more units right now. Guess there's an argument for some enchantments. Not a strong argument. Kind of just a better than nothing. Don't think we're going to be particularly focused on melee or ranged because we're just kind of taking what we can get with the recruitment stuff.
get this astral point from. Yeah, I'm not sure that the tomes are going to be the, the point of discussion. Where's this coming from? I'm thinking targeting these uh, passive upgrades will be the decision maker for the tome right now. We're not dealing with the astral stuff. A lot of the orders, diplomacy that's useless, vastness useless. A lot of useless. I'm only going to take the order tomes when the tome itself is what we want. Nature is pretty much pointless because we're not doing anything even remotely related to growth. Only got the one city. Shadow with knowledge is useful. Diplomacy stuff is not. Not doing much casting in battle. That could change. Shadow I'm neutral on. Outposts. We really need to be doing more of that. I always forget to do outposts. Imperium might help with the you know, Imperium. Is this is it what it's called? Materium. Might help with the gold. Sieges. Yeah, getting more gold, making things cheaper. It's more useful than the shadow. Chaos is probably the most useful. What was this one again? Gaining a unit that can be produced. And army draft. Getting up to this, the permanent gold income, be good. It manages to raise it. Knowing our neighbor, there's also argument to doing something targeting Necron, like a defense against magic. Don't think there's really any particular case to be made. Pyromancy with the upgrades. Still relevant. Spell tempered shields. It only affects shield units. Yeah. Debuffs. Could lean into debuffs target the chaos eater type stuff later on I would match with the condemned
There's a chance of getting the condemned on people. Should help with capturing. Anti magic would help against Necron. This is promising. Other things really aren't. I think it just comes down to do we want the Chaos Affinity? Some generic, decent upgrades. Or do we want debuffs? I think we're going to go for debuffs. The perfect alchemical formula requires an equal measure of both time and fortune. Who else but the alchemist spends years of meticulous research into understanding the very essence of nature, only to find the solution through sheer happenstance? Alchemy truly is a gamble with nature, entailing the power to both create or destroy. Okay, is there an argument for using afflictors as opposed to the mage locks? Nothing about our build targets the mage locks. Do the tonic, because we're going to have the overseers. Yeah, I think we'll start with this. We don't really have a, a combat skill we're dependent on. Or a spell, not skill. We'll shuffle later if we need to. I don't need to save those. Save cash. Have everybody move so that we can figure out the army composition. You don't know they're bugs until you. See the little uh, tail in the back. Here. Okay, I know the mage locks have been changed. So they just have an inaccurate fire for one. But if you don't move, you can take a Changed Reaver. Forgot about that. So you want to apply the mark to the melee, hit him with the ranged, and hope you don't shoot your own guys in the back when you're doing it. That's the gist of it. This guy does not have the super growth, which is kind of annoying. Sell it over there. Definitely could use more frontline defense. Should not have dismissed the zealot. Now, well, what's done is done. Take one. Uh -huh. Get over there, start raise.
fast. I'm about to lose this scout. Yeah, do we care about losing the scout? Not really. I do want to know where he's committed. That one's up there. That one's over here. Yeah, whatever. He can go east to come from the north. Yeah. Not sure we're going to play all the way to the 15 turns today, but. Playing a little longer. Geography of these void maps is interesting. and it isn't creating choke points. It's creating like these peninsulas. Being toward the middle. We're going to be the ones gatekeeping the AIs. It's not necessarily what we want. It's us their first target. in that city. Unknown right now. You know, just as I said, the grinding made sense to do. As does raising things and getting gold and negative alignment. Who would believe it? Being evil involves unnecessarily extending the wars to create more destruction. Unless we want that. Yeah. Vendor first. Maybe we will get to turn 15. Some of these turns are quicker than others. Is that us? Or is us? Okay. Let's see what's in there. It's not nothing. We do have healing. Unfortunate. Not gonna be able to capture that. Not gonna be able to capture the heroes. Two healers. I'd say that was good news if it wasn't for all the stuff they got tacked on. Damn, these guys are not much of anything. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a. Hard fight. But I don't think it'll be without losses either. Grab that before we forget about it. Has the growth been worn off? Not yet, it hasn't. What can I check? Six turns, about six turns ago. Last
gonna check out the heroes. As cool as these guys are, I think we need to grab a basic hero. Basic old level one. Don't care about the rifle. Want someone with some melee defense capabilities. What are you guys say? Little Prince Rail. Blanking. Let's take the flag. Let's see what we can do for appearance. Mostly just curious because I didn't get to play around with the rulers before. Yeah, this. There's more stuff you can do here. Ants, yeah, let's, let's go for like an ants. Kind of look. Let's see if I know what an ant looks like close up. You know it. Probably like that. This one different. Or more directly like an ant or a fire ant, maybe. Yeah. That stuff where it is. The outfit needs to be more suited. Going up close range. I stick with the dress. Maybe do some little. Do you want to do like pirate? Special ones aren't really. No. I don't know. I'm not a magic hero. Do we just stick with the piratey kind of look? I think I'm happy with that. Randomize the name of it. Sab de Gruff. It's a look. Alright, that plays in well. This doubles up on the flanking. And critical hits. We have sprint, that's fine. Uh, I forgot what I was doing with this guy, which means probably wasn't important.
think I'm even focusing on the scouting right now. Let's go for that watchtower. Ah. There he is. Oh. He's got multiple cities going on. Okay. That's what we wanted to learn. Size 8. Hmm. We seem to be slipping. Got the enthralling to even further lower our population. Maybe not. Not the play. Let's try to capture him. Then call it a day. That's a bigger battle than I expected. We'll end with that or start next time. So let's give it a try. You can tell when I'm uh, starting to have issues with uh, analyzing the situation, not recognizing that those two armies are that close. Yeah. Most of these are. Again, didn't start the game that long ago. <laughs> Not necessarily in a better situation. But what we can do. I don't actually know why my guys are all damaged right now. But I just start chewing on the plants and bring that right up. It should have been an army of cats. Just not every plant in sight. It's a good idea for a faction. Bunch of house cats. Chew on the plants and then puke up some toxic damage on their enemies. Just this turn, they probably do have spells. Which means we don't. They're gonna have like chain lightning, which we set ourselves up to get hit by pretty bad. Is what it is, I guess. Try to take advantage of the defense. And our big guy can chew on the plant life. Get an achievement for eating a bunch of plants in a single battle. Oh, we're still on the first turn of this. That's fun. Yeah, there. 
is the spell. It's not a chain lightning. That didn't do much good. Where can we tell? Do we waste the tell? It's their game plan. Any heals. Smack down a lot of damage. Yeah, I guess they were in defense mode. Wasn't. Does this work like a level 3 unit where I can run and shoot right out? Not see that it would. It. Do not believe. If I can shoot and leave. That's just that one unit. Missed out on an opportunity for shoots and leaves puns between the, uh, is it the Dragoon and the Herbivore trait? Another idea for someone to steal. I'm gonna set up like a wall here. Don't particularly know why I'm doing that, but it feels right. You could sneak around. Discourage that. And then defense. Hmm. This guy. This is the that's chain lightning. Trying to lure this area. You can kind of just be back a little bit. That's fine. Don't want to be within the range to get hit by that, though. That that's not a concern yet. Ah, there's the line we don't want to cross. It's always one. Okay. Hit down a defense for the spell that's inevitably going to hit us. better defended just not being within range. Same with you probably. Leader it's like camp there I suppose. So he isn't doing any different.
Eh. Right? Yeah. We were over focused on the electric guy. We did not focus on getting him adequately locked down. Stop it to a spell, that's fine. Lock down any of these guys. That one's probably the best one. Go here. Throw the dead. He's immobilized. You. Take aim. Take aim. Want this overseer free. That's a flank. That takes a Instincts to kill that. Is that what we can do? Can't actually insta kill it. Okay. Designate a target. And that, that should have been what I did there. Got another hit. Why did they have two retaliations? Don't know. few units taken out of the fight. It's gonna go hit someone in the back. I right, could do 20 and take a hit there. Seven and not take a hit there. Or we do this. He's already immobilized. We can't immobilize this guy. It's 11 damage versus this one. You cannot do the mind control because he is there. Be handled. Gotta handle that. I can mind control that guy for a turn. That would be great. I can't. Say we're gonna do that. Ninety percent chance. If we condemn him, hundred percent chance. Burn up his spell. I don't want to deal with it.
Movement down. Standard magic thing. We get that guy. Yeah, let's focus our fire. Next turn is going to be bad for them. I don't think they have much damage potential right now. Got some. Knocked them out yet. down that evoker. says plus 80. It was a better bet moving. Dude, them. Man, I never get to make fun of anyone for doing that again. on retaliation. Excellent. This side of the battle is clean. We need to do the little capture on him. So this guy needs to be out of commission. to just prevent him from dealing a ton of damage. Oh, yeah. oh, excellent. That just completely solved everything. Thank you, randomness. Ooh, I love random. Like, yeah, random features. 
doesn't go your way, you're not surprised when something amazing happens. Just in love with it. I feel like we need to be careful. We're losing a unit. You don't need to lose. Well, you do have your net. It's not even a cool net. That's not ideal. Don't know that he can reach a plant. Don't think so. I'm gonna run and hide behind the rock. heal after this one. Can I even get in there for the kill? Yes. It's fine, it doesn't matter. And we wouldn't have been able to afford the other guy anyway, so. That's okay. Oh, she would have. Yeah. Yeah. We're just dealing with things as they happen. at level two. I mean, it's pretty situational. The situation is next door. But it's not time for it now. This is the bounty panel. Here you can create a bounty to offer it to other rulers. I'm not sure why he's pay me to do what I was already doing. Am I supposed to hand it over to him if I do this? How does this work? at war with him? I imagine so. It's unfortunate that this is where I'm ending the episodes. This is going to keep catch me off guard if it hands it over to him next time. 
I don't think it does. Or if it is going to do that, it should give me the option when I capture it. Nice. We can end on a good high point here. Don't see any reason to grab that. Ignore status resistance. Yes, please. We're swing back for these eventually. I don't want you to worry about that. All right, let's, let's see what we got here. and debuff stuff it's in line with what we're doing debuffs cost less damage costs less it's a very promising particularly doing sanity type stuff Status resistance, we are to pick. I see that man up key. Nah, man. Gotta go bad. That's wholly in line with what we're doing. City, crippled its armies, done enough pillaging. Make this decision next time. Deal with that next time. Yeah, this is a good endpoint. Drop save. Don't need to turn 12, we're gonna turn 15. And, hey, hopefully I'll be uploading more of this in the near future. That's the plan. Just power through this, get it done before there's anything new for me at the medical situation. I, I'll touch on that quick. We're trying to get me to a hospital for diagnostics and testing. I'll be out of the house, unable to record for probably month minimum so want to get this series done ASAP and with that I already saved enjoy your week uh, crowd that was awkward try it again enjoy your week crowd checking out signing off